Good morning and welcome to St Lawrence's Church here in Barton for our service for Ascension Tide. Um, that period after the Ascension Day as we are preparing ourselves for Pentecost at that time at which the baton was passed on from Jesus to those who were to become the early church. Our service sheet is attached to the email which this has come from and our readings today are from Acts chapter 1 beginning at the first verse and also from Luke 24 beginning at verse 44 if you want to get your Bibles. So let us pray. In the name of God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also there ascend, and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the Apostles, he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up into heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations for 40 days. He had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. While at the table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for what the Father had promised. It is, he said, what you heard me speak about. John baptised with water, but not many days from now, you are going to be baptised with the Holy Spirit. Now, having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come for you to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit, which will come on you. Then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the earth's remotest ends. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky as he went, when suddenly two men in white were standing beside them. And they said, Why are you Galileans standing here looking into the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will come back in the same way as you have seen him go to heaven. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and make disciples of all nations, says the Lord. Remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus told them, This is what I meant when I said while I was still with you, 
that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms was destined to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, so it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. And now I'm sending upon you what the Father has promised. Stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he took them out as far as the outskirts of Bethany, and raising his hands he blessed them, and as he blessed them he withdrew from them and was carried up to heaven. They worshipped him and then went back to Jerusalem full of joy, and they were continually in the temple, praising God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, with the ascension, we mark the end of Jesus' earthly incarnation. As John's Gospel reminds us at the beginning, the Word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. The beginning of his earthly incarnation that we celebrate at Christmas time, when he was born that babe of Bethlehem. And with his ascension, we mark the other end of his earthly incarnation. That doesn't end with the cross and it doesn't end with the resurrection, but it ends with the ascension. And there's temptation to think that, well, with that, the incarnation finished. But it doesn't. When Jesus went back to heaven, taking our humanity with him, he promised to his disciples that they would be receiving the Holy Spirit, uh, the Holy Spirit that was going to enable them to be the body of Christ as Jesus had called them to be. And in that body of Christ, the church, the incarnation continues. The presence of God in the world continues. In us, the presence of God in the world continues. And that is quite an awesome, perhaps even slightly scary thought, that in us, the incarnation, the presence of the living word of God continues. For we are the body of Christ, as we say week by week, as we come to communion. And in order to be the body of Christ, in order to be the continuing incarnation of the presence of God in the world, we can't do that by ourselves. We can't do that in our own power. And we are only able to do it because of the Holy Spirit which God gives us. That Spirit of God in which we come into being, that Spirit of God that is there breathed into us with our very first breath. That Spirit of God that is placed in us afresh in our baptism and in our confirmation and week by week as we come to communion in our prayer, in our prayerful reading of the scriptures. The Spirit of God is renewed within us and we are enabled to be the body of Christ. Not me, a Christian on my own, and you, a Christian on your own, but us as the body of Christ together. And so in this time between the Ascension and Pentecost that comes next week, Albeit next week it's going to be all a bit disrupted by celebrating the Queen's um, Platinum Jubilee. But nonetheless we are invited to pray, Thy Kingdom come. Pray, come Holy Spirit. Pray, come and fill us afresh so that we can be the body of Christ, the ongoing incarnation of the presence of God that we are commissioned to be and called to be. Now I appreciate that that might feel somewhat daunting and yet it is the only thing that enables us to be the church. 
The buildings don't enable us to be the church. Just turning up on a Sunday doesn't enable us to be the church. Getting involved in all the social activities doesn't enable us to be the church, though they all have their place and they all have their importance. The only thing that enables us to be the church, the body of Christ, the ongoing incarnation of the presence of God in the world, is the Spirit of God within us. And we need to pray for that renewing. We need to pray for that renewing for ourselves. We need to pray for that renewing for us in our individual churches, in our different places around the Fellside team. We need to pray for that renewing of the Spirit in us as the Fellside team itself. We need to pray that same prayer for us as the Diocese and the Church of England and the entire Church of God worldwide. For we are all called to be the body of Christ. We're all called to be the ongoing incarnation of the living word of God. And we can only do that with the living word of God within us through his spirit. And so may I invite you to make that your prayer these days between now and Pentecost next Sunday. Thy kingdom come. Come Holy Spirit. Be renewed in me, be renewed in your church, be renewed in your church throughout the world. Amen. So we declare our faith in God who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glory. Who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray. And in our prayers to the bidding, come Holy Spirit, the response is, may your kingdom come. So as we remember and give thanks for the ascension, for Jesus taking our humanity into the very heart of God, at the end of his earthly incarnation, we give thanks for all that he has shown us of your nature, your character, your purposes, all that he has wrought for us of our salvation through the cross, through his death and resurrection. And we pray even as we are commissioned to take the gospel on into the world, to all nations and all peoples, that we would be empowered for the task. Come, Holy Spirit, may your kingdom come. And we stand somewhat in awe and in trepidation, in recognition that as the body of Christ, that incarnation continues in us. The living word of God in our hearts, in our souls, in our spirits, through your spirit, 
And yet we pray that we might live up to that call, live up to that sense of being as individuals and as your church. That we might demonstrate to the world the ongoing presence of Christ in and through us. Come, Holy Spirit, may your kingdom come. We recognise that we cannot do any of these things without your Spirit within us. And so we pray for a refreshing and a renewing of your Spirit within us, within our lives individually, within the life of your church here in the Felside team and in our individual parishes, within the diocese, within the whole church of God, the world around. May we, through that renewal in your spirit, be enabled to do the work of the kingdom and take the good news of Jesus to the world. Come, Holy Spirit, may your will be done. And so we pray for your world, for the community in which we live, we recognise both all its goods, but also all its evils. We pray that through your work, spirit and work in your world, those who are of good heart and good spirit, who recognise the ways of the kingdom of God, would seek to build a world based on such values, and that where people follow other ways, they would see the need to change. Come Holy Spirit, may your kingdom come. And we recognise in your kingdom your love and care and compassion, particularly for those who are vulnerable, for those who are weak, for those who are marginalised, for those who are sick or in need in any way. We pray that your church might demonstrate that same compassion and mercy and love as Jesus demonstrated. Come Holy Spirit, may your kingdom come. And just as Jesus returned to heaven at the ascension, we look forward to that time when we shall see you face to face in the great communion of saints at the end of our lives. And we give thanks for all who have gone before us inspiring us on this journey with God and we pray that we might be a similar inspiration to the generations yet to come. Come Holy Spirit, may your kingdom come. So merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith and make our confession to our Heavenly Father. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. We are heartily sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. And so the peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. So in the mystery of broken bread 
and wine outpoured in the mystery of hearts and spirits open to the Spirit of God, we meet with Christ and are renewed in him at his table. For the Lord is here, his Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Born of a woman, he came to the rescue of our human race. Dying for us, he trampled death and conquered sin. By the glory of his resurrection, he opened the way to life eternal. And by his ascension, he gives us the sure hope that where he is, we also may be. Therefore, the universe resounds with Easter joy, and with choirs of angels we sing forever to your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine again. He praised you, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. For Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Saviour of the world. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, when justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Lawrence and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us, therefore let us keep the feast. Alleluia! We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, 
so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. And so wherever we are, we are with the presence of God. And as we share in this communion spiritually, may the body of Christ keep us all in eternal life. Amen. And may the blood of Christ keep us all in eternal life. Amen. God our Father, you have raised our humanity in Christ and have fed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that nourished by such spiritual blessings we may set our hearts in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. So may Christ, our risen and ascended King, pour upon you the abundance of his gifts and bring you to reign with him in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you, with those you love, with those for whom you pray this day and always. Amen. So let us go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.